the onion fine. Take, Take care, care to chop the onion fine. To keep from crying when you chop it. To, to keep, keep from crying when you chop it. I suggest you place a little bit on your head. I suggest you place a little bit on your head. The trouble with crying over an onion. The, the trouble, trouble with crying over an onion. onion is that once the chopping gets you started, is that, that once the chopping gets you started, and the tears begin to well up, and, and the, the tears, tears begin, begin to well, well up, the next thing you know, you just can't stop. The, the next, next thing, thing you know, know, you just can't, can't stop. I don't know whether that's ever happened to you. I don't, I don't know whether that's, that's ever happened, happened to you. But I have to confess, it's happened to me. But I have to confess, it's happened to me. Mama used to say it was because. Mama used to say it was because. I was especially sensitive to onions. I was especially sensitive to onions. Like my great aunt Tita. Like my great aunt Tita. Tita was so sensitive to onions. Tita was so sensitive to onions. Anytime they were being chopped. Anytime they were being chopped. They say she would just cry and cry. They say, they say she would just cry and cry. cry. When she was still in my great grandmother's belly, when she was still in my great grandmother's belly, her sobs were so loud that even Nacha, her sobs were so loud that even Nacha, the cook who was half deaf, the cook who was half deaf, could hear them easily. Could hear them easily. Once her wailing got so violent, once her wailing got so violent that it brought on an early labor, that it brought on an early labor. And before my great grandmother, and before my great grandmother could let out a word or even a whimper, could let out a word or even a whimper, Tita made her entrance into this world. Tita made her entrance into this world prematurely, right there on the kitchen table. Prematurely, right there on the kitchen table. Amid the smells of simmering noodle soup. Amid the smells of simmering noodle soup. Time, babies, and cilantro. Time, babies, and cilantro. Pizza had no need for the usual slap on the bottom. Pizza had no need for the usual slap on the bottom. Because she was already crying as she emerged. Because she was already crying as she emerged. Maybe that was because she knew then. Maybe that was because she knew then that it would be her lot in life to be denied marriage. That, that it would be her lot in life to be denied marriage. The way Nacha told it, the way Nacha told it, Tita was literally washed into this world. Tita was literally washed into this world on a great tide of tears that spilled over the edge. On a great tide of tears that spilled over the edge of the table and flooded across the kitchen floor. Of the table and flooded across the kitchen floor. I'm gonna skip forward a little. On Mama Elena's ranch, on on Mama Mama Elena's Elena's ranch sausage making was a real ritual. Sausage, sausage making, making was a real ritual. ritual. The day before they started peeling garlic, the, the day, day before, before they started, started peeling garlic, garlic, cleaning chiles, cleaning chiles, cleaning chiles and grinding spices, and grinding spices. spices. All the women in the family had to participate. All, All the, the women, women in the family had to participate. Had to participate. They gathered around the dining room table in the afternoon. They gathered around the dining room table in the afternoon, and between the talking and joking, the time flew by. And between the talking and joking, the time flew by until it started to get dark. Until it started to get dark. Then Mama Elena would say, "Then Mama Elena would say, that's it for today. That's it for today." For a good listener, it is said. For a good listener, it is said. A single word would suffice. A single word would suffice. So when they heard that. So, so when, when they, they heard that, that, they all sprang into action. They all sprang into action. First they had to clear the table. First, First they had to clear the table. Then they had to assign tasks. Then they then had to assign tasks. Task. One collected the chickens. One collected the chickens. Another drew water for breakfast from the well. Another drew water, water for breakfast from the well. A third was in charge of wood for the stove. A third, a third was in charge of wood, wood for the stove. stove. There would be no ironing. There would be no ironing, no embroidery, no sewing that day. No embroidery, no sewing that day. When it was all finished, they went to their bedrooms to read. 
When it was all finished, they went to their bedrooms to read, say their prayers, and go to sleep. Say their, say their prayers and go to sleep. One afternoon, before Mama Elena told them they could leave the table, one afternoon before Mama Elena told them they could leave the table, Pita, who was then 15, Pita, who was then 15, announced in a trembling voice that Pedro Musquiz announced in a trembling voice that Pedro Musquiz would like to come and speak with her. Would like to come and speak with her. After an endless silence during which Pita's soul shrank, after an endless silence during which Pita's soul shrank. Mama Elena asked. Mama Elena asked. And why should this gentleman want to come talk to me? And why should this gentleman want to come talk to me? Pita's answer could barely be heard. Pita's answer could barely be heard. I don't know. I don't know. Mama Elena threw her a look that seemed to teach us. Mama Elena threw her a look that seemed to teach us to contain all the years of repression to contain all the years of oppression that had flowed over the family and said that had flowed over the family and said if he intends to ask for your hand tell him not to bother if he intends to ask for your hand tell him not to bother he'll be wasting his time and mine too he'll be wasting his time and mine too you know perfectly well that being the youngest daughter you know perfectly well that being the youngest daughter means you have to take care of me until the day I die. Means you have to take care of me until the day I die. Still, Tita did not submit. Still, Tita did not submit. Doubts and anxiety sprang to her mind. Doubts and anxiety sprang to her mind. For one thing, she wanted to know. For one thing, she wanted to know. Who started this family tradition? Who started this family tradition? It would be nice if she could let that genius know. It would be nice if you could let that genius know about one little flaw in this perfect plan. About one little flaw in this perfect plan. If Tita couldn't marry and have children, if Tita couldn't marry and have children, who would take care of her when she got old? Who would take care of her when she got old? Tita knew perfectly well that all these questions, Tita knew perfectly well that all these questions would have to be buried forever in the archive of questions. Would have to be buried forever. In the Della Garza family, one obeyed immediately. One obeyed immediately. Ignoring Pita completely. Ignoring Pita completely. A very angry Mama Elena left the kitchen. A very angry Mama Elena left the kitchen. And for the next week, and for the next week, she didn't speak a single word to her. She didn't speak a single word to her. Ha, ha, ha.